Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum all of you. How are you all? Hope you are fine and enjoying good health. So welcome to Snai School. Welcome to your English class. I am your English teacher Mr. Varya. And as you know that nowadays we are learning about noun or grammar unit. So in this lecture we are going to do the exercise from our book. So let's start. First of all, come towards model lesson. That is always obey your parents and teachers. It means you have to always respect and obey your parents and your teachers and all your elders. Clear? So now come towards your topic. That is noun. Nowadays we are discussing about noun, and the definition of noun is noun is a naming word. Again. Noun is a naming word. Naming word means the name of each and everything around you. Or there is another definition of noun that is noun is a name of person, place or thing. The person include all the person around you. Either they are your parents, your grandparents, your brothers, your sisters. You are teachers, you are friends. In fact, you, you are also a noun. And place, there are so many places around us that are, uh, and some of them are uh, mosque, park, your school, your house, or country, or city. So these all are places, and these all are noun or things. Each and everything around you, in your bedroom, in your kitchen, in your house, in your garden, in your school, in your classroom, each and everything is a noun. So the definition of noun is, noun is a name of person, place or thing. And in short, we say, we say that noun is a naming word. Noun is a Naming word. Naming word means her ek cheese ka naam jo hai wo noun hai. So there are few examples that are Ali, Sara. These are the name of person. Karachi, Sargoda. These are the names of the cities of Pakistan. And table, chair, pen. These are things etc. Etc. Means so many other things, places and persons also. Clear? So I have given you uh, a worksheet in your homework that you have to separate the noun according to the given columns that are person, place and thing and I have done this uh, another worksheet for you and the question is write each noun in correct column. The nouns are Ali, Bed, Lahore, Salman, Cup, Park, Mani, Book, Ruler, School, Jia, Sargoda. So these are few nouns and we have to separate them according to the column. The first is person, the second is place and the third is thing. Okay, come towards the first noun that is Ali. Ali is the name of a boy. So we have to write Ali in person column. The second one is bed. Bed is a thing. So we have written bed in the thin column. Lahore, Lahore is a name of place. Salman, Salman is a name of a boy. Cup, cup is a thing. Park, park is a name of a place. Money, money is a name of a boy. Book, book is a thing. Ruler, ruler is a thing. School, school is a name of a place. Jia, Jia is the name of a girl. And Sarkoda, our beloved city, this is the name of place. So I have separated them according to the given columns that are person, place and things. Now come towards your, uh, open your book, page number 8, there is your un there's, uh, the unit of noun. So we have to do the exercise now. Practice all things comes from cows. There are some things which are given that are milk, cheese, butter, cream, and ice cream these all things are made up of milk so it means that's why they have written that these things come from cows clear 
Now you, we have to use these noun to fill the given, uh, fill in the blanks. Page number 8, copy and complete these sentences using the noun above. अब जो noun हमें given है, उन्हें को ही use करके हमने इनको sentences को complete करना है. The first one is, I spread dash on my bread. Yes, I spread dash on my bread. The answer is butter. I spread butter on my bread. Dash is very cold. Yes, what is very cold? The answer is ice cream. The answer is ice cream. Ice cream is very cold. The next one is I like to drink a glass of dash. Yes, we have to choose a noun from the given nouns. So, I like to drink a glass of milk. I like to drink a glass of milk. The next one is strawberries and dash are lovely. Strawberries and cream are lovely. Strawberries and cream are lovely. Number fifth, you can put dash in a sandwich. Yes, what we can put from the given noun? That is cheese. You can put cheese in a sandwich. So, I am going to repeat all the sentences. I spread butter on my bread. The spelling of butter is B-U-T-T-E-R, butter. Dash is very cold. Ice cream is very cold. I-C-E, ice. C-R-E-A-M, cream, ice cream. I like to drink a glass of dash. I like to drink a glass of milk. M-I-L-K, milk. Strawberries and cream are lovely. C-R-E-A-M, cream. You can put cheese in a sandwich. C-H-E-E-S-E, -E -E, cheese. So this is the page from, this is the exercise from page number 8. Now come towards page number 9. Copy these sentences. There are two nouns in each sentence. Underline each noun. Now there are four sentences and each sentence contains two nouns and we have to underline them. The first one is hens lay X. Hens lay X. As I have told you before that all the animals, all the birds are noun. So hens is a noun. And the other one is eggs. Eggs are thing. So in this sentence the two nouns are hens and eggs. The next sentence is wool comes from sheep. Yes, in this sentence wool is a thing. So we have to underline wool and sheep. Sheep is an animal. So the two nouns are wool and sheep. The third one is the horse ran out of stable. The horse ran out of stable. Stable is the house of the horse. So in this sentence, the two nouns are horse and stable. The last one is the cat chased a mouse. Cat is an animal. Mouse is also an animal. So I have told you before that all the animals, all the birds are also noun. So we have to underline cat and mouse. So this is the exercise from your page number 9. I am going to repeat. Hens lay eggs. Hens and eggs are noun. Wool comes from sheep. Wool and sheep are noun. The horse ran out of the stable. Horse and stable are noun. The cat chased a mouse. Cat and mouse are noun. So your homework is learn classwork. You have to do practice on your rough notebook of these two pages from your book, page number 8 and 9 and learn them.